Next, uh, I'm going to explain the second problem. Here, uh, sigma is AB. The conversion of CFL to uh, PDA contains four step procedure. The first step is drawing transition diagram. First, you should write the correct input strings for a given language. Here, if I'm substituting n is equal to 1, the strings are ABA. If it is 2, a a b a a if n is 3 triple a b triple a if n is 4 4 a b 4 a and the transient diagram for the first string is for the, for the first string contains three length word so minimum four states should be there so q0 first symbol is a second symbol is B, third symbol is A. So this is the four output state. And if you want to check the second string, double A, B, double A. So first A, it goes to Q1 state. For the remaining A, we should stay in Q1 state. Then all string contain only one B is there. So after that, Q to read A. After A, the remaining right side A is you should stay in Q3 state. Then if the control state read epsilon, you can go to final state. This is the diagram. And what is the procedure means? You just check all the strings. If you check all the strings, the number of A's at left side of B is equal to number of uh, A's on right side. So here also 3A is there right side of B, 3 A's are there. For the fourth string, number of A's are 4 at left side, the same number of A's are available at right side. So what should we do means, we just write the sample notation. So if the control head read left side of A, you push that A on stack. If the control head read B, you don't push it that value, so it's not necessary, only 1B is available in all the string. So if B occur, you stop push operation. And if the A is read by the control head and that A is at right side of B, then you pop that value. So this is the sample notation. So you write in a step by step manner, that is the procedure. So we, uh, we should write the procedures for the given transition diagram then the transition function construction so i already told that how many number of outflow is there we should write minimum that number of transition functions in a pda construction so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i write it in an order way so q0 a first outflow then q1 a next q1 b then Q2A, Q3A and then Q3 epsilon. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So minimum 6 flow is there. So I don't know the third parameter. So I just write blank notation at third notation. Then we can able to easily fill the first parameter of output value which is simply filled with the given transfer diagram. So the outflow of Q0A is Q1. So you write here Q1A is Q1, Q1B is Q2, Q2A is Q3, Q3A is Q3, Q3 epsilon means QF. I just fill it. Then the initial that means up to uh, left side of A means up to Q1 state the values are uh, A only. So Q0A, Q1A are left side A. So if it is a left side A you should use push operation. So this is the current input tape value. So if you read B value you should use stop push operation. 
then the right side of b uh, a states occurred at the state q2 and q3 so if q2 a q3 a occur you should write pop operation here and if q3 read epsilon you can go to accept state so this is the general notation so initial stack value is z so i draw z first and i am taking uh, the number as a a b a a after that empty uh, symbol epsilon is occurred at right side of a so initial state is q0 so q0 read a stack contains z so push operation means we just to combine the second and third parameter value that means a z so now a is pushed so if q1 a means when q1 uh, uh, come to uh, read a state already a is written in a tape that is a written on stack so the stack top modes value is a push means you just combine these two value so a a so this is the top most value now a should be stored so this is q1 a so q1 a means you are in same state so q1 currently you should read b value what is your top most value on stack it is a so i am writing the third parameter is a stop push operation means you should write only one value on uh, second output parameter that is nothing but the topmost value on stack so the topmost value on stack is a it's also available here so you only copy this value to here okay so if it is a push operation we just combine second and third parameter if it is a stop operation we only write the third input parameter value as a second output parameter okay so if q1 read b means you should shift it to q2 state so now i am shifted to q2 state now q2 read a so if q2 read a you will automatically go to q3 state so if q2 uh, read a means what is your topmost value on stack it is a so you just write a here pop means you should write epsilon now you are in q3 state so this is popped if q3 read a the topmost value is also a pop means you should use epsilon so this is popped and now q3 read epsilon what is the topmost value on stack it is z so when you accept that particular uh, string as uh, acceptance notation in pda if the tape contains epsilon symbol and stack contains initial symbol then you can directly go to final state the same validation uh, notation i am writing here so initial q0 value my correct input string is wa b wa and then epsilon the topmost value is z now you refer all the first values in these th three parameter that means q0 a z which means you should go to q1 state the remaining symbols on second parameter is a b a a epsilon and you write the notation here a z now first value q1 second value a third value a it is the second function so you should stay in q1 state the remaining values are b a a epsilon then this a is popped on stack so for instead of single a i am using 2a and followed by z so this is the topmost value q1 b a this is the third function so you just write the output of it the output is q2 state the remaining symbols are a a epsilon stop push operation means you don't do anything whatever available in the stack just write as it is this is the q2 stop push operation now q2 a a that is the fourth transition function the output state is q3 pop means you should pop this value so the remaining values are a z 
this is already read the next input symbol should be written as a so q3 a a it's also pop operation q3 if it is popped only z is there the next input symbol should be read is epsilon now q3 epsilon is it it will automatically go to accept state so if i am giving the correct input it should automatically go to accept state so this is the procedure for implementation of cfl2 pda construction so i am giving this problem to you instead of a single b there are n number of b's are there but it's not related to the left side and right side of a so you only check the a value so if you read n number of b you don't do anything that means if you read n number of p you stay in stop push operation and you write the transition functions then the next remaining problems will be discussed in next session thank you